I've just been sent a bunch of details that are most likely horseshit, but I'm going to make a video out of it just for entertainment purposes. Do take most of this information with a grain of salt, but some of it is actually pretty palatable in regards to how the normal filming part of Game of Thrones goes. House of the Dragon has been in development for a few years now, and this was confirmed by George R. R. Martin himself. Now before we get started, please, slap a like on this video as the like goal is going to be 420. <laughs> also, make sure you're subscribed. And then, this is the most important part, make sure you have your notifications turned on so that way you get alerted every single time I drop a video. Long not! Now first things first, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, this show has already been in development for nearly three years. It may not have officially been greenlit until like a few months ago back in November, but this show has been in development since Ryan Condal, which is gonna sure, sure, god damn it, he's going to serve as a showrunner alongside Miguel Sapochnik, who we all know has directed some of the best episodes of Game of Thrones. House of the Dragon has been in development since 2016. Now, real quick, I'll just read you a quote from George R. Martin's Not a Blog post back on November 10th. Now, this was like uh, towards the end of the actual post, but he says, Even Aegon the Dragon couldn't conquer the Seven Kingdoms all by himself. However, he needed the help of his sisters, Rhaenys and Visenya. Ryan and I, he's referring to the showrunner, one of the showrunners, Ryan Condal, had some great assistance, assistance as well, and I wanted to give a tip of the crown to these three talented and hardworking young writers. And then George goes on to list several different individuals who have been involved with this process of writing the scripts for the first season. George goes on to finish up the post by stating that they all sat with Ryan and I every day in the writer's room at HBO for months, talking story, going over drafts, giving notes, correcting errors, catching inconsistencies, discussing character and plot, offering ideas and suggestion, filling in gaps, breaking down the episodes to come, and drawing up a roadmap for the first season and all the seasons to follow. The House of the Dragon could never have been built without the help of T.I., Claire, Wes, and three terrific young storytellers. I mean, I know that's just a blog post, but George really has a way of whipping us up into a fury. Uh, it's, it, it's, it's incredible. Now, he did say that they were writing for months, so that gives us a few years of time to, you know, sort of play with on what have they been doing. Well, I'll tell you, my guess is filling out the cast. They've probably been running through a host of individuals because we all know there's going to have to be some strong leads in this series, as well as spotting filming locations, maybe even building new studios outside of the one in Belfast. I mean, them filming there and around that location is part of the reason why so many leaks have came out. And it'd be super smart for HBO keeping this all under, wrap, under wraps to really finish filming almost the entire first season before they start to make announcements on, you know, when maybe we'll get a trailer or who's going to be starring in the cast. As soon as we hear information on who these confirmed actors are, all we gotta do is look up what they've been doing for the past few months, and then the puzzles, or the pieces of the puzzle rather, start to fall into place on who all has been spotted where and what exactly has been filmed. Now jumping into information straight from a leak, according to this person, the first few episodes are actually filming right now, and they're actually using a fake name as cover just to sort of keep all of the details under wraps. They're using a fake name as a movie that's being called The Cast. Uh, this person states that all the episodes have been written, the directors have been chosen, and the scouting locations have been finished. They said that by late January, early February, expect some sort of micro-teaser and new House of the Dragon Twitter announcement. They don't really have any more details other than just what I said there. Uh, they said that it is expected that the show will be greenlit for a second and third season very early on. Now, this is one of my favorite parts that this person mentions, and they said that Aegon, the Conqueror, will be featured in flashbacks, and that Melisandre is said to make some sort of an appearance. Now to those familiar with my videos, this is the part where I would normally pick all that information to pieces and just sort of go through it and say what I think is bullshit, but I'm not gonna do that. We don't really have any other information other than the show's been in development for X amount of years, and that's all we really know, so it could be true. You all let me know what you think about just what I've mentioned so far down below in the comment section. Now since we're doing pretty well for time in this video, I'll go ahead and mention some more information that I was sent on the show. Now this one is a bit more speculative. Speculative. This person mentions that the leads for the show and the ones who have 
been announced for like casting notices are for Princess Rainier, King Viserys the first, King Jaehaerys, and in its in quotations flashbacks, Cregan Stark, Old Man Cregan, Queen Alicent, and Prince Daemon. Now they mentioned that so far these are the only names that have been given to certain casting agents and they're looking for mostly independent film and theater actors. Now if you're wondering who some of those characters are that I just mentioned, you can actually check out my video from yesterday. I've linked it down below in the description. You can go and watch that and I'm working on breaking down the main plot points of the Greens vs. the Blacks or the Dance of the Dragons through a series of videos that I'll be releasing throughout this month and into next month. Now the last little bit of information that this person sent me, uh, they mentioned that the first few episodes will start with the fifth year anniversary uh, or attorney that is held in honor of King Viserys and Queen Alicent. Uh, they mentioned that the Greens versus the Blacks is established very early on and the costumes are noted to be very elegant. It is shown how prosperous it is during the time period like basically all of the architecture in the background and most of the costume that the characters are going to be wearing are way more elegant than they normally are in Game of Thrones and this person mentions that the budget for the first season is equal to that of the sixth and seventh season of Game of Thrones. Not combined, but it's around that same 10 to 15 million dollar figure that floated around the internet when they were filming Game of Thrones season 7 and season 8. This person also mentions that the first few episodes are coming in at a little over 55 minutes. Apparently in the first episode alone, there are 6 or 7 callbacks to the very first season of Game of Thrones. Like almost line for line dialogue. And this person mentions that the whole reason why the showrunners or the writers decided to do that is to reintroduce that feeling or nostalgia for Game of Thrones. Now the last thing this person mentions is that Dragonstone, the interior of it, has been completely redone. And the main reason why we spent so much time seeing Daenerys in it in season 7 and then again in season 8 is so that when we view it again in this new show, and remember, uh, just as a side note, the show had been in development when they were filming season 7 and season 8. So they were definitely laying in Easter eggs and I think it's going to be pretty fun to go back and, you know, while I'm rewatching Game of Thrones, maybe I'll make a few videos of uh, Easter eggs that may play out in this new series. But they go on to mention that Dragonstone is actually sort of like the base of operations. In the first few seasons, this is where uh, Princess Rainier will be spending most of her time, and this is where she sort of conducts her operations from. So we'll get a sort of updated version of the Red Keep and an entirely new Dragonstone. Oh man, I can't wait to see how this is all going to turn out. I'm a massive House Targaryen fan. If you, you've been watching my videos, that's to be just to be known about my videos. So this series is literally like written for me. Uh, it's like everything I could ever dream of. <laughs> With all that being said, I want to thank you all so so much for watching if you could please slap a like on this video as the like goal is going to be 1420 <laughs> also make sure you turn your notifications on so that way you get alerted every single time I drop a video and also make sure you're subscribed to me throughout this long night I want to thank you all so so much for watching and a super special shout out to every single member of my patreon family over in patreon.com slash or hunts reviews thank you all again so so much for watching my name is Mark and this is Hunts Reviews <laughs>